you're strapped in, back pressed against the seat as you feel the vibration from the vehicle amping up around you. Then, a moment of anticipation before you feel yourself launched from 0 to 128 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds straight up into the atmosphere. That describes the experience of the King Daka roller coaster, located at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. King Daka, opened in 2005, is the tallest roller coaster in the world at 456 feet. For thrill seekers, King Daka often tops the lists for most intense. But how does the Six Flags record stomper match up to a space shuttle launch? Is it too extreme for even the most seasoned roller coaster enthusiast? Let's cover the facts. The top speed for King Daka is 128 miles per hour. For a space shuttle to reach minimum orbit, it has to accelerate from zero to 18,000 miles per hour in eight and a half minutes. That's about zero to 60 miles per hour in five seconds at first takeoff, much slower than King Daka. The difference here though is the shuttle doesn't stop. King Daka increases in speed, breaking the sound barrier in 45 seconds and moving 10 times faster than a speeding bullet. But speed means nothing if you can't feel it. The International Space Station itself orbits Earth at five miles a second. The maximum g-force of a space shuttle is typically 3g, and the g-force of King Daka can reach 6.3g. What's our conclusion? Some of the most intense roller coasters can give you a little taste of the experience of space travel, but nothing on Earth can come close to the real thing. I'm Audrey Davis with the Tundra Enthusiast Network. Thanks for watching.